the outboard is running really good. A little too good. Uh, we don't have like a kill switch for it. We took it off. I can't remember why we were having problems with it or something. So Pete is actually hooking up a kill switch. So that's our first improvement for the day. And then we gotta take Miss Layla into shore. We are out at anchor and Norna is doing great. She has been swelling up nicely. The bilge pump hasn't even really been turning on, which is really awesome. I think today we're gonna do some rigging, tighten up all of those, all the dead eyes, the standing rigging and bend on probably just the jib sails today because it's a little too windy for the main sail. Pete got the purchase correct on the bob stay fitting. Last time we tried to do this, a few years ago, see Norna has a solid bob stay usually, especially if we're going out to sea, but because of anchoring it and everything, that solid bob stay was bending and getting messed up. So we tried doing a block and tackle the full way and what would happen was it would just twist and wouldn't work. So we actually got a, a rod made. Um, it's not a solid rod, it's a piece of cable made. And then a block and tackle at the end to tighten it. And that works good. And what that does is we can loosen that and get that out of the way so that when we have the anchor line it doesn't drag across that and bend it and cause problems. We're going to take Layla for a walk. Norna is back in the water. Right now we are on a mooring ball at Atlantic Boat Works. Uh, we're spending that time on the mooring, getting the rig tight, getting the sails bent on, untangling any lines that need untangling, and just getting everything ship shape for the boat before we head out and go sailing for a few weeks before Ava has to fly home to Florida. Maybe eventually we can do some fun things like these cat heads. Put pulleys in that and make it so that we can use this anchor. Tightening the rig. So it's just essentially a figure eight. And the figure eight is pretty much to stop the bitter end from loosening after tightening the rig. The two end pieces, you just loop it around and tie a little knot. Well, they, uh, Three, they, they go like this. They when do you, what? They go like this kind of, you know, when you do them. When you tighten it. When you undo that. Right. So he's got it tightened and then and he's got it tightening with this handy billy. These dead eyes are made out of live oak and we had made a few of them because a few are missing. And 
after tightening six standing rigging, the final one was our head stay. Last one done. Now tell me if it moves when I walk up. No. Not much. Not much. give it extra. I'm going to basically rely on these whiskers more than anything because they go down anyway. But I can't go much more if the whiskers are almost all the way tight. And then I'll tighten up that hip stick. And then hopefully that we can pull that purchase tight enough. If not, we might have to put a handy billy on that purchase, pull it tight, and then tie it off. Yeah, the rig looks nice, Got some straightening up of lines. We'll do tomorrow and put the main sail at some point, as long as it's not too windy. Traveler that eventually our dinghy davits will bolt into. And we had all of the supplies to bolt it down. All of the bolts, all of the nuts, the backing plates, the caulking, the drill, the drill bit. And surprisingly, it went on smooth. On a rainy day. Oh. And once we bent on the mainsail and the jibs and got everything ready, we just waited out some weather and then we can finally go sailing. Good morning. All right, so I just wanted to show you where we are on the chart. Right now we are at Herrick Bay. We're actually right on this dock right here. And we're going to pull out and we're going to come in this area here. And we're going to cruise around the head of this Nascaig Harbor and come around. There's a few islands out here. We could maybe cut through here, but I think just for our first cruise, we're just going to like sail, raise our mainsail in our gym and just kind of cruise around. There's a couple markers here that we can follow in. And then we come right into this harbor right here, which is the Wooden Boat Harbor. So that's going to just be an easy hour sail right around the corner in a wooden boat. Our maiden voyage had begun. We still had some kinks to work out, but we were definitely on our way. Okay, so so far we were going to go at an angle that was 
about like this for a little while, but the wind made it so that we had to actually tack. That we actually had to point a different way, actually. We didn't even really tack, it was just that the wind shifted. So now we're going this way. And then we're planning on eventually maybe going out a little farther and then trying to tack. Well, it depends on what angle we can tack at, but we might tack around this way or tack in through here. I don't know. It's going to be something along here. So, yeah. Time is up. 11. Like I said, we should be there around lunch. So, are we going around that little island right there? We are, aren't we? See, now I can kind of see. See that little island right over there? Coming around the other side of Mahoney Island. And there's a red marker. There it is. Okay, heading into Egamogan Reach. Coming into the reach right now. Beautiful sailing. Layla has found her spot. Hopefully, Blue Highway is here still. Maybe yeah, taco night on Blue Highway tonight, Ann said. Yeah. So I just started a new joins page right here. So we're coming around the head of Naskeg Harbor. And then we're just coming around and we're gonna turn right into here into this anchorage. <laughs> this is freaking unbelievable what we've been through to this, guys. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh my god. I'll just to sit here and go, ooh, the wind's blowing us. Do that again. Do that dance. Yeah. <laughs> I only caught a short portion of that. We have arrived in our first anchorage, Egamogan Reach, right in front of the wooden boat school. <laughs>